Hey, this is Jonathan here, and I want to film this video for you to kind of explain um, how to make your product a winning product. Okay, so what do I actually mean, right? Um, when you've done like product selection and product uh, sourcing, after you, you've gotten your, your singular product and are ready to market it, right? Um, people keep saying there's something called a winning product. And um, like I may be different, right? A bit from the minority standpoint. I don't believe there's such thing as a winning product, right? So um, I think there's such thing as angles. So you, you can make like very, very simple and like um, things and products that are not, that doesn't seem like winning products into winning products, okay? And how you do that is actually uh, playing with the angles and the marketing angles towards it, okay? So I'm gonna give you an example right here. So I literally just searched, um, for example, right, right here, um, kitchen product on Google, okay? And I saved it uh, in my Trello card right here, just to show you, okay? So like, this is like an incredibly difficult product to sell. It makes like, I don't know, no sense. <laughs> and there's a lot of things happening, right? And uh, of course it has a unique selling point, right? So even for even for your own products, right? You definitely need a unique selling point. If you're selling like dresses or stuff in e-commerce and um, it's quite generic, right? Obviously the, the brand itself has an angle to it, right? It could be like uh, Boko Chic, Chic Boko. Um, it could be uh, Gothic, right? So those are unique selling points as well, right? So all you gotta do is to play with the angles, okay? So let me show you exactly what I mean. Okay, when you cannot find a way to make your ads profitable, right? You gotta find like uh, your itch or your niche and really drill down into your unique selling points. So let me uh, give an example right here. Okay, so this is the product that I'm supposedly trying to sell. And let me show you the different angles that you can use. Okay, so you can see here, right? Um, number one, I can um, target customers. For example, the first one, persona is woman, 18 to 30 and they're millennials. Okay, second one, I uh, target mothers who are 30 to 55 and they are housewives. And then third one, I can target mothers, same thing, 30 to 55, but working moms, okay? So right there, I already have three ad sets that I can play with right there, all right? So what are my angles? I can try, um, do you always have a messy kitchen? And uh, would you like an all-in-one toaster that actually cook your breakfast for you? Okay, so that's angle number one. Number two is like, um, do you hate washing so many things at one time? Right, so that's why you have something like this. You, you can just wash, wash one thing after you set up your coffee, your eggs, blah, blah, blah. Okay, then angle number three, where you write your copy, it could, it could be, do you love breakfast but hate waiting up, uh, waking, up so, wake, waking up so early to prepare? Okay, so can you see, right, I have essentially um, segmented my, my product into different customer personas. And according to those personas, right, I can uh, write very, very compelling copy based on each persona. So um, what do millennials care about? They care about just getting their, their breakfast and finishing uh, so that they can go to work, right? So there's a priority. You can tap into that, into that pain point, right? 30, 30 to 55 housewives, what do they care about? They care about their children. They care about uh, making sure that the kids have food to eat, right? Number three, uh, mothers 30 to 55 working moms, what do they care about? They care about um, uh, like getting to work, but obviously having, having the kids uh, taken care of as well, but they don't have time to do so, right? So can you see, right? Uh, they are so different angles, but then because they are the you're, you're targeting and, and uh, the copywriting is meant to sell to that single persona, that's kind of how you make it winning. Because um, a general, hey, check out this kitchen product, 55% off, uh, buy now. It's very boring, right? It's, it, it definitely won't be a winning product. But if you give it a slant, give it some character, right? Tell a story about it, right? You can tell so many stories about, for example, like um, going, to, going to work and then you have no time, right? Or like, hey, do you always hate washing so many things after like uh, preparing breakfast? Like, can you see how you've created an entire story and narrative around this singular product, even though it's like, it may not be a winning product at first. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense to you. And don't always think that, hey, I, I pick a single product, I don't know, this highlighter, or like uh, th like this water bottle, right? Th these could be like really, really boring things. But like with your imagination, I'm sorry to say, but yeah, you can make them winning products just because of the story you tell, the narrative you tell. And that's how like branded e-commerce brands differentiate from dropshipping brands, right? They, they introduce um, familiarity, they introduce a story, and people follow along that, that, that story, right? They're, they're captivated and they're engaged by it, and then eventually they'll buy. Okay, so I hopefully that make that a lot makes a lot of sense to you. And um, yeah, if you have any questions about that, uh, do let me know in the description. And uh, if you can check out some of the others uh, videos on this channel as well, uh, I'll appreciate it. All right, uh, hope you have a good time. Okay, see you in the next video.